Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about the biggest problem with maintaining or gain-taining. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, maintaining, gain-taining, can, it can mean a lot of different things to many people. But in this video specifically, I want to address the individuals that are trying to hold their weight steady while building muscle and the problems that are involved with this type of plan, with this type of programming, with this type of belief that it is going to work. Now, let's say you're an individual that's 170 pounds and let's pretend, let's just say that you're training hard, you're training properly, all your training stuff is aligned. You, you, uh, you are hitting your training optimally. Let's just pretend <clears throat> excuse me, that everything is completely optimal. And let's pretend, let's pretend that muscle building is going to happen regardless of what your calorie intake is. So we're, we're pretending this, right? We're, we're, we're pretending this, that this is a physiological reality, that no matter where your calories are at, you're going to build muscle tissue optimally. So Let's say you are a, not a newbie, not a, not a complete beginner. Let's say you're someone that has uh, added maybe 5, 10 pounds of muscle and you have the potential to gain, I don't know, 20 more pounds of muscle over the course of the next three or four years. So you're at about 170 pounds and you want to main gain or maintain your, your goal. And again, we don't want to get caught up in... Uh, we don't want to get our definition here of main gaining or maintaining is for the individuals that are trying to hold their weight and change their body composition. So you're at 170 pounds or whatever arbitrary number it is, 180, 185, 190, it doesn't matter. What you're trying to do is hold your weight while gaining 20 pounds of muscle or 10 pounds or five pounds or whatever the case is. So here's a major problem with that. For that to happen, you have to lose an equal but opposite amount of fat. To assume that that's the way the body is going to work, uh, that that is possible, uh, you're injecting another very odd va uh, variable into the equation. We already have established the belief that no matter what your calorie intake is, if you're training hard, you're going to build muscle optimally. But now we're injecting into this equation that you're going to, at whatever your calorie level is, you're going to lose fat at an equal but opposite rate. So you gain 10 pounds of muscle, you lose 10 pounds of fat. That's what would have to happen for you to maintain your weight. You would have to gain five pounds of muscle, gain 10 pounds of muscle, and lose five or 10 pounds of fat. And that kind of tightrope is, is quite frankly, uh, it, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make, it's, it's founded in a fairy tale belief. It's founded in some kind of a fairy tale belief or a fantasy need or desire that focuses on maintaining a weight rather than, uh, as a be-all, end-all, rather than worrying about what you look in the mirror. And that's the major problem with main gaining or maintaining. Your focus, your, your obsession, your infatuation is on maintaining a number on the scale and you have to, you have to create all these special rules, right? All these, all these conditions like number one, no matter what calorie intake I eat, uh, I am going to build muscle optimally. Okay. You're taking that leap. You're, you're adding that, that fairy tale, uh, wish, hope into the equation. And you're also, um, adding into the equation that you can do so while losing an equal but opposite amount of fat, which is quite honestly, ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, I, I am not saying it is not possible in the long run for people to 
do smart recomposition, body recomposition uh, types of programs. I have a book, and if you head over to my website, superlivingtoday.com, and search bulk, you will find it. There is a proper way to bulk and do mini cuts that can return you to around the same weight uh, while improving your body composition, but to try to do it at the same time, your focus is on a number and not on being smart, not on being intelligent, not on analyzing all the variables and making adjustments as they are needed um, and trying to arbitrarily keep your body at the same weight while trying to push in 5 to 10 pounds of muscle and push out 5 to 10 pounds of fat, you have become your own worst enemy because your obsession is with a number and you are just leaving science and reason and uh, the ability to adapt your diet. Uh, you know, you're, you're just, you're leaving that all behind in search of maintaining a specific number. And this, I would say is grounded in complete irrational, uh, obscene thinking because it's, it's borderline, it's borderline, you know, a disorder where you and your head think that I have to stay at a number to look good. Right. Uh, and usually these are guys that are a little bit, you know, not overweight, right. You think you have to stay at a number to look good as opposed to actually looking in the mirror and being smart about your body composition and analyzing your body composition and encouraging the muscle building process by eating in a slight calorie surplus. So you're, you're sending aside periods of bulking and cutting and you're trying to do some fairy tale, borderline, obsessive, compulsive disorder behavior that keeps you at an arbitrary weight. It is a misguided focus. It is a misguided focus. Um, you cannot gain 20 pounds of muscle and lose 20 pounds of fat at the same time. I've never seen it done. If you are a 170 or 175 pound guy and you think, and let's say you're 20% body fat. So you think you're going to go from, well, let, let's say you're 175, 180 pound guy. Let's say 180 pound guy with a 150 pounds of lean body mass, okay? And you think you're going to add 20 pounds. You're just tossing out arbitrary random math. You're 180, 180 pounds, 30 pounds of fat, 150 pounds of lean body mass. You think you're going to add 20 pounds of muscle and lose 20 pounds of fat. That will put your lean body mass at 170, get your body fat percentage down to 5%, and basically, at the end of the road, you have managed to achieve the ultimate competition standard for natural bodybuilding, you're down to about 5% body fat, and all you've done is main gain or gain tain because you planted your seeds in some fairy tale world where you can do both at the same time and somehow get to 5% body fat while eating at maintenance level. Now, this doesn't even go into the fact that as you gain muscle, your metabolism changes. So you're going to have to change what you eat. You're going to have to, you're going to have to be very precise. Uh, and this could, will be a minor change, obviously. This will be a minor change, but it will still require precision. So if we're going to do precision at all, let's not put our eggs in a fairy tale basket where we expect muscle building to be optimal no matter what calorie intake we have. And we expect fat loss to be optimal at maintenance level while we're building muscle, right? Or whatever that is. Because maintaining weight is basically a, a homeostasis. It's it's maintaining weight. It's it's a maintenance level. So you're you're putting your eggs in this fairy tale basket where you can gain muscle, where you can lose fat. And uh why not put your eggs in the basket where you're being precise? You're monitoring weight, you're monitoring calories, you're monitoring body fat percentage. Um, you are you are um, bulking properly. You have periods of mini cuts, and you can slow and you can slowly improve your body composition and improve your odds of building muscle, more muscle, by actually eating in a slight surplus. Because I have I have news for you. If you think you can build a lot of muscle 
in a ma at maintenance level or in a surplus, you're living in a fairy tale world. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.